Hello and welcome to week four of Powerful Pivot Table Applications for Research Administration, our five-week NCURA YouTube Tuesday series. I'm Dan McNamara, Director of Development at SmarterAdmin.com. And while in the first three weeks we covered Pivot Table fundamentals, today I want to go into specific research administration applications of Pivot Tables. Specifically, I want to talk about how Pivot Tables can simplify the grant closeout process with easy-to-use, built-in functionality. And the key thing we want to keep in mind throughout this series is that pivot tables are a tool to be added to your skill set. Although we'll be talking about grant closeout specifically today, the idea is to start to see pivot tables as part of your research admin arsenal to tackle the growing research management burden. Okay, let's jump right into a live data set this week to see some powerful grant closeout functions in action. Now this week's workbook has two data sets because oftentimes our budget data and our actuals data comes out of two different source systems. Now with pivot tables, we need all of our data on one spreadsheet. So I've combined our budget data with our actuals data here in this column using a neat formula. We're also dynamically calculating live variances with this formula field here in this column. Feel free to download this workbook completely unlocked at our website, smarteradmin.com, to see how we built both these formulas. And using the techniques I went over early in this series, I built a budget to actual pivot table that shows our information by PI, by award, and by expense category. And while it's helpful to see if our awards are coming in at or under budget, this is just one piece of the equation when it comes to grant closeouts. Because you may be sitting there reviewing this with your PI, Dr. Jane Doe, and she could say to you, but that award sponsor is very strict. How did we end up spending versus what we budgeted within the expense categories? And this is a very reasonable question because many sponsors have strict rebudgeting restrictions. But it's also a very difficult question to answer and would take a long time to calculate manually award by award. And remember, we want to think of pivot tables as a tool in our research admin arsenal. And we want to build systems that help us automate these impossible tasks and make our lives easier. So let's tackle this tough question with an easy to use built in pivot table functionality. Now to answer the how did we spend versus how did we budget question, wouldn't it be helpful to see what percent of the budget each of these expense categories was lined up next to what percent of the actuals we spent on each of these categories was? Now we can do this with a special calculation pivot table field. And the first step is to drag our budget and our actuals field into our value section a second time. It may look like we just duplicated fields, but watch what we can do with a built-in pivot table function called show values as. Let's click into any cell in our second budgets field. Go to the Analyze or Options tab, click Field Settings. And let's click into the second tab of this box, Show Values As. Now pivot tables default to simply summing the field for their calculations, but with Show Values As, we can actually have Excel perform a special calculation for us. So let's click where it says No Calculation, and instead click Percent of Parent Row Total, and click OK. And now look at what Excel is doing for us automatically for each row of our pivot table. It's now showing us both the budget dollar amount for each awards expense category in this column, but it's also showing us what percent that dollar amount is of the total award budget in the second column. And this is an amazing automatic special calculation pivot table field, and it was so easy and quick. Let's do it for the second actuals field too. So let's click in any cell, any number in the second actuals field. Let's click field settings, show values as, no calculation, select percent of parent row total instead, and select OK. And now look at that. These aren't our sum of budget fields and sum of actuals fields. It's our budget percent and our actuals percent. And now we have a pivot table that combines two source system data sources, our budget data and our actual data, that dynamically calculates a budget to actual variance field, and that easily leverages built-in functionality to show us a percent of budget and percent of actuals field, and we got up and running with this in seconds. And these new special calculation fields are just as flexible and customizable as the standard pivot table fields we've been using so far in this YouTube Tuesday series, meaning you can adjust the design of this however you need to, and you'll never hurt your underlying data. That's all for this week. We showed you some amazing built-in ways you can leverage pivot tables to give you powerful award closeout information like budget to actual variance, percent of award budgets, and percent of actuals. Next week, our final week, we'll wrap up our series by going through some more advanced research admin pivot table applications. Thank you for watching. See you next week.